Of all the shellfish that sell on the black market, one clam is above the rest. The gooey duck. Most Americans have never heard of, much less eaten, a gooey duck. So why is there such a thriving black market for their meat? Before we answer that, let's get a couple of things out of the way. It may be spelled geoduck, but it's pronounced gooey duck. And yes, it does look a bit like a giraffe. Gooey ducks are the largest burrowing clam in the world. Predominantly found in Puget Sound, they can live up to 160 years. That's one of the longest lifespans in the entire animal kingdom. An adult gooey duck weighs around one to three pounds. And in Asia, their meat is a prized delicacy. About 90% of the gooey ducks harvested in the U.S. are sent across the Pacific. That's about $70 million worth a year. In China, gooey duck was once reserved for elite banquets. But China's growing middle class has developed a taste for the delicacy and the disposable income to afford it. This rising demand has sent gooey duck retail prices to as high as $150 per pound. And soaring prices create a big incentive for poachers. Here's how it works. Harvesting wild gooey duck is only allowed in certain areas of Puget Sound. The state auctions off each area. But there's still a limit on how much can be dug up within each area. When divers reach the quota, they're supposed to stop. But fish and wildlife managers have found that sometimes they don't. That's when the poaching takes place. The most common trick used by gooey duck poachers is to dive when nobody's watching, sometimes in the middle of the night. Divers are known to leave bags of gooey duck on the sea floor to retrieve later. Or they hide the clams in the hulls of their boats. The more that don't get counted, the more they can harvest. Or they keep only the top quality gooey ducks and pitch the others overboard. Sometimes, poachers will even go to polluted areas where harvesting isn't allowed. A good diver can harvest thousands of dollars worth of gooey duck in just a few hours. Then, all they need is a buyer and a fake certification tag. In a matter of hours, boxes of gooey duck are headed to Asia, where diners shell out big bucks for them. 